Hi, I'm Rachel with Joy Mia Studio in Rome, Italy, and today I have a flying geese tutorial for you. So to start this, I am taking one rectangle, four and a half inches long, two and a half inches wide, and two triangle, two triangles, two squares, two and a half inches by two and a half inches, each one. So all I'm going to do is make a line going diagonally across my square. Now, I like to use a pencil, especially when no one is going to see the line. I know a lot of people like the invisible um, marker. It Well, it shows up, but then it just washes away, which is great. So that's also an option. Today, I'm, I'm using my pencil. I'm going to just draw my line dark enough for me to see. And then I'm placing it here on top of my fabric. So, so it's just lined up with the edge. And now I'm going to stitch diagonally. I'm just following the line all the way corner to corner. So excellent, that's done. Now I'm just going to trim this and I'm lining it up um, a quarter inch from the stitch line. Discarding that. Okay, so I have step one finished. Now I'm going to go to my ironing board and iron this open. I'll be right back. So there we have it. It's opened, it's ironed. I ironed in the direction of the larger piece of fabric. And now I'm ready to do the second square. I almost said triangle again, the second square. I'm also going to mark this one. If you can't see it on the video, don't worry. I did a very faint line of the pencil, just enough for me to see while I'm working. It will cross over the other piece. Don't worry, that's exactly what you want. So here we go. Same thing, just following the diagonal. And we're going to trim that line. And now I'm also going to press this open. I'll be right back. But, th but this time when I press, I wanna show you something. This one I pressed towards the larger piece of fabric. The, the seam went this way. This time, I'm going to do it the other direction. And I'll explain why right when I get back. You'll be able to see. Hang on. I have that tip for you about the ironing and why I did it in that direction. It's just simply because it reduces the bulk. Um, there aren't as many folds in one location, specifically around this point. And it will make it easier for when you want to attach other pieces, it reduces the bulk, it just will lay smoother, flatter, and it's also easier to do your quilt top. Anything to reduce things and make it easier is, is what I prefer. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.